Hello, fun. My name's Nick, and I'm here at the Central Illinois Regional in Peoria with Team 2481 Roboteers. They've had an incredibly powerful season, ranking 7th in EPA in the world earlier this week. They just came off a clean 228-point score, and they have all sorts of unique mechanisms to make all of that work. All this and more coming up on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams would expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. Earn up to a $5,000 sponsorship for your team or $2,000 individual price when you provide a video submission to the Altair Global Student Contest at altair.com slash contest. You can build better robots faster with Altair tools and provide multiple video submissions for the contest. Download Altair tools for free. Scan the QR code or go to altair.com slash contest for further details. Now we're going over to Andrew to talk about their custom swerve drive. So in the off season, we had met this past season and decided we want to have a custom swerve now. We had run off the shelf modules for the past two seasons and we noticed many things that we didn't like. It wasn't a true off the shelf because for what we wanted, we always had to have some sort of customization. So what we did first was we noticed that all the other wheels, they slipped a lot. So we have this nice larger wheelbase to allow more traction and then we have more grip to the carpet allowing more wheel odometry to be accurate. Then we also have a center hub that connects our two gears. So then if we want to gear it differently to go all the way from 14 to 32, we swap two gears and it's at what we need. Instead of going, oh, we need L2, L3, L4, it's a wider range of speed that we may need. It's very interesting, thank you. Now we're going over to Levi to talk about their slide and shooter. Yeah, so we decided to go with a mechanical alignment device this year. The reason we did this is because in 2019, we had some large success with our mechanical slide that we had that year as well. You can see it here. Jeez. It's run on an IGUS slide with a, the motor is back here. It's an X44 on a transmission that runs a chain on our slide and it can move back and forth like this. And we use two limelights in the front of our robot that look at the April tags in front of the reef and they're angled towards the reefs so that we can see the April tags in almost any orientation so that we're able to know exactly where we are. And then the slide logic happens inside the code and it just automatically lines up even without any driver input. It also can auto shoot if it knows that all of its set points are correct and it's ready to shoot. That's very cool. What led to the design decision to create a system like this? I don't think I've seen anyone else here with a system like it. Yeah. So a lot of the inspiration, again, came from 2019. But as we were at the beginning of our season testing a lot of different prototypes and how we wanted our shooter to work, we tried a lot of passive alignment devices that would score automatically without any motor interaction because those always can be a little bit faster. But we were struggling to find with, come up with a design that would work. So we swapped to the design that we knew would work in 2019, which is a mechanical alignment device, which is able to just slide back and forth on a motor. And then we just iterated a lot in CAD to come up with a designed with this IGUS slide and the chain running alongside the back. It's very interesting. Now we're going over to Caleb to talk about their intake. So this year we went with a ground intake because we discovered you could roll coral almost to the reef from the human player station. Meaning if you could pick up coral off the ground in any orientation, we would have significantly faster cycle times. Everything is run off of one motor, meaning we have no vertical rollers. And the way this is accomplished is through this guide wall here which uh, pushes the coral into one orientation every single time the green wheel that you see eliminates a dead zone and the solid bottom roller kicks the coral up when it's perpendicular to the roller that's very cool was there any particular um strategic design in the process of creating this i know your human player has shown an incredible skill of being able to throw that coral right out to the middle of the field towards the reef for you all was that a factor in your design strategy for this intake or did that come up later uh, a little bit of both. We knew we could throw it far, but we didn't know we could uh, throw it quite that far. But we wanted to be able to pick up an area orientation just because of speed and simplicity. And the reason it's a ramp and also not vertical rollers is also for simplicity. So everything is powered off of one roller and you can see the guide wall and work here. So 
as you can see, all of the rollers are powered by one motor spinning extremely quickly and it allows us to force the uh, coral into any the single orientation we want coming in from any orientation. It's very cool. Now we're going over to Drake to talk about their climber. So we knew that we wanted to do a deep cage climb because it would be worth most points. And our goal with this was to be able to hook the cage and bring it to the middle of the robot so we have the center of gravity. One cool thing about a, a robot is we actually have two ratchets on it to help hold it up because the motor actually wasn't strong enough to hold it up. So we put two ratchets on it, which actually keep it up. And what we're able to do is release stress on everything else and bring this, bring the whole cage into the center of the robot at the angle and keep it into center of gravity. That's really fascinating. I've seen it work very well today. Now, finally, we're going over to Matthew to talk about their elevator. So this year, we chose to go with the Cascade elevator. Um, it's worked really well. We had to go through a lot of iterations and design changes to make it uh, more durable, but we iterated off of past elevators that we've used, and um, that's been really good. Some design changes that we've had to make are the pulleys we made. We made custom pulleys because these are one piece instead of the three piece ones that you can buy. Um, and other things we've done is we use belts and chains rather than uh, some teams will just do one or the other. That, that helps a lot with weight. Um, and we, we didn't buy one because of a lot of the design issues that worked with our robot. Um, so when we're in a match, our robot will put up the elevator to L1, L2, or L3, which are all preset. So Levi is gonna give you an example of that. And then when we're scoring, if we're too far back, our cameras will see that and the elevator will go up a little bit higher so that we still shoot it on to the peg. That's all very cool stuff and I've seen it work incredibly well all day today. Well, Roboteers, thank you so much for your time. I think you're doing very well. You're still holding on to that rank one as we're under 10 matches to go to the line selection. Again, thank you so much and good luck for the rest of today. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Earn up to a $5,000 sponsorship for your team or a $2,000 individual prize when you provide a video submission to the Altair Global Student Contest at altair.com contest. You can build better robots faster with Altair tools and provide multiple video submissions for the contest. Download Altair tools for free, scan the QR code, or go to altair.com contest for further details. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions.